Okay, hello everybody. Um, we are here again. Uh, I had last week some problems with the with my computer. I still have them, but uh, it looks that it's working good so far. Even though I will have to buy a new one very soon. Um, let's see. Let's see uh, if I can make us zoom in in this feel and see uh, Okay, uh, let's just uh, adjust him some of the settings. And what else? This one. Okay. Okay, so let's get it started. Um, this is a painting that I'm doing for uh, for myself, I, I was just trying a couple of uh, new changes in the formula uh, to see, you know, drying times. Um, I'm making a, a new formula. Well, it's, it's not really new. It's just an adaptation of the one we have, so it dries faster. Uh, but anyway, um, what I want to do is Lin Lin always ask me uh, how how do I, I use the medium in a painting. So in this case, let's see, I'm gonna get this closer to the camera. Uh, in this case, I want to make the darks with black, but black is a very very dark color. So if you use too much. Um, it gets too flat, so it doesn't give depth. So I like to use it transparent. So it uh, transparents some of the tones that are uh, in in the back, and it doesn't lose its depth. So um, also, uh, I I could do it like uh, just diluted with water. But if I dilute it with water, I'll, uh, when I do that, in, and then I use it in this kind of painting where I paint thick, what happens is that uh, it looks, it doesn't look good because it looks watery instead of rich and thick like this one. So that's why I'm going to use the... Um, the retard the medium sorry uh let me see if i do that so i'm gonna do is um using okay carbon black and uh, yes just a tiny bit so i don't need much it's just for like small transparencies And now, um, remember that if you wanna, you have any questions, please ask, um, because this is for everybody to learn, okay? Okay, so here you see, oops, I have the, the medium and the black. So I'm gonna show you, me get a, so I'm gonna put it closer to you so you can see what I'm doing. Okay. So this is the medium. This is the black. Um, what I'm gonna do is just a tiny bit of black. Okay, not much. Because 
a little more. Okay, so now you see this is black, but this black is completely transparent. Okay, and this is exactly the black that I need to darken what I have to darken in that painting that I'm doing. I'm gonna add a little bit of water just to make it a little more fluid. Okay, maybe even a little more. So I'm mixing the water, you know, with the with my paint. Okay, there it is. That's exactly the way I like it. Okay, uh, maybe it's gonna need a little more black, but I'm gonna see that in a second once I put it on the on the painting. Okay. Um, let's see, clean the palette knife and use this brush. Okay. Let's see. So now, you know, for Okay, and it's uh, just a little more black, still too, uh, too transparent. So I'm just adding more black into my mixture. Uh, maybe tiny more. Okay, always mixtures are, mix, mixing colors, mixing this kind of stuff is always a very precise science that you only learn through practice. Um, so, actually, I was thinking, uh, I was looking at this uh, Spanish painter called Sorolla, S-O-R-O-L-L-A, uh, which is a painter that I love from the 1900s. And he has these huge painter, paintings, and he paints very, very thick. Uh, so what I always think is that he had all the colors previously pre-mixed in order to in order to paint because otherwise just mixing the, all those colors while you while you paint is uh, is such an incredible amount of work. Um, so probably he had them ready before. Okay, so I'm doing my. This is like the highlights, but the opposite, the darkest points, okay? Which I like to bring. So I'm painting it transparent so, so my background color shows through, okay? And that's uh, giving a lot of depth already to my, to my painting. Okay, so this is a perfect example of how to use the the medium to make the color more transparent. Okay. Uh, okay. Um, I don't know how notice, noticeable is that on the camera. Um, but, uh, well, at least uh, it gives you an idea on how this works. And how you can use the, the binder. Um, yeah. Okay, okay, uh, so for now, for this almost a scene, let me just make this more dark. Yeah. 
Okay. Okay, very good. Um, so, once I've done this demonstration, which is, uh, was for my painting, now what I'm going to do is, let's put this away. Again, please, any questions you have, just ask. Remove this. So, today we're going to do um copy of uh, Van Gogh painting. As you know, Van Gogh uh, painted very, very thick. And the other day, let me see where I put it. Because I just had it here. Oh, yeah. Okay, I don't know if you remember this from the other day, but I had this piece of, uh, this is canvas, okay. I don't know, you can see, but this is canvas. And then I just give it like a very light, uh, transparent wash with uh, raw amber, okay? And here I'm gonna do my my painting, my copy of uh, Van Gogh. So let me uh, draw the lines um, here. Let me bring brass. Okay, so it's ready. Uh, okay, now. So now I'm going to start mixing the colors, and since we are going to paint thick, uh, we will need um, a lot of paint. We are going to, uh, the drawing we are going to do with this blue, uh, they, they used to use blue, uh, usually Prussian blue for, for drawing uh, with the brush. And I'm gonna a little bit of black, so it makes kind of a Persian blue. And now I'm gonna mix here. I'm gonna mix everything. And yes. Okay, I'm gonna get a little bit of blue. Totally, I'm using a a thalo a blue, okay. Mix with a little bit of black. Yeah, I think I put too much black. Let's see, we'll see very fast. Okay. See. The palette knife. And same. If there are any questions, uh, I still don't understand why this thing. Um, yeah, I can hear people. Drip. Oh, I forgot one thing. Hold on a second. Sorry. Uh, because I realized I can't play these. Uh, I'm gonna put it on on Facebook because I can put it live on Facebook. Okay, so here we go. Let's see if it's working. Uh, I don't know. Maybe. Let me try one more thing. Okay, I don't know if it's working or not. Uh, at least I try. Okay, 
let's do this so now i'm gonna do the drawing okay of uh van gold painting Okay, if you give me a more second, uh, because this thing is. This thing is giving me a hard time because I don't want to be here. Anyway, okay. Uh, Sorry, I'm just uh, trying to get the picture here. Doesn't want to come out. Okay. Um, let's see. And he doesn't want to give it to me. So guys. So here we are, more or less. Let me get start the drawing. Medium, we don't need any more. So. so just for the drawing, I'm make, making this, you know, uh, more liquid. Yeah, that has too much black, so I'm gonna get a more blue. Uh, yeah, these um, two colors make a kind of kind of um, Prussian blue. Okay, when you mix fallow blue and black. Okay. And yeah, that's what it is done because you know it's, it's for the drawing, so that way is all I need. And also this is the way Van Gogh, you know, um, did the drawings of his paintings before he started painting. Okay. Actually, this is, you know, very cheap, but canvas. So actually, um, it's too absorbent. And that is because it's cheap. Yeah, usually they, they don't gesso it you know, that much. So usually what I do with this kind of canvas is I, you know, give it another layer of gesso so we can so i can paint with more ease okay so uh, 
Okay. And now we have these. So yeah, I'll tell you this comment is very bad. But what can we do? We have to work with what we have. And uh, you know, at some points we all have been students and we have to work with the worst materials ever. Because we were always broke, like all the artists. Okay. Okay, so this is a bit basic drawing, and now I'm going to start mixing the colors. Mm. Let me see just uh, what I see here. Mm, this is working great. Maybe it is, but I, I don't know. Let me try one more thing. Sorry, guys. Uh, uh, hmm. So I have an idea. If it is, I hope everything is working. Um. So Lily, you um, Lily, sorry, Lin Lin. I was thinking in my Lilies. Uh. If you are around, can you uh, text me or something so, so I can see that everything is working fine, please? Thank you. Okay, uh, so I'm going to mix my colors. So let's bring some uh, titanium white. I'm going to get it out of here. In my palette knife, chips, put it there. Okay, so now let me take some of this blue, put it here, and See, so this blue, and this is ultramarine blue. I mean, yeah, yeah, ultramarine blue. Okay, I'll put it here, and also I'm gonna use a little bit of purple. Okay. Uh, let me see because I don't know if I have the volume on. I don't. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let me see, let me see, let me see. I want to try. Mm -hmm. Let me see. I'm just trying to see if I can 
to make this live online. Do what? I don't know. Okay. Let's see. Mm -hmm. So now I have the violet. Put my screen on because I was out of. Okay, so now, okay, sorry, a little bit of purple. And let's mix some colors. Okay, I'm gonna mix white with blue. Okay, into a rich paste. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing with the ultramarine blue. Gonna get a little bit of this, mix it here. Okay, so we have two different blues. We are okay, and we are gonna mix also the purple. Okay. A little more white. And put it here. It's a little purple. I'm gonna mix this purple with a little bit of blue because otherwise it's too too pink. Okay, so there we are these colors, so now we can paint. Um, you see this, this brush, the one I was using before. Clean it a little bit, and now we can do the painting. So, take a little bit of this blue, with a little bit of this one, and a little bit of this. So as you see, this is a, let me see if I can get the camera closer. So you can get a better detail of what I'm doing. here I hope you can see with more detail okay um, okay so and put the colors my palette of colors so you can see also so now Let's put this here. Okay. Now we just so this uh, always makes a very nice texture of colors.
So you see, this technique is uh, very beautiful, very rich painting, very rich material. So the later I'll, I'll post a picture of this uh, close up so you can see it better. And one of the reasons that I painted this uh, with a wash of uh, raw amber is because Van Gogh um, didn't prime most of the, his canvases because he liked them, just the raw color of the canvas. So he just gave a transparent um, prime, like um, rabbit glue skin. And, and he played with this color as a part of the painting. And actually gives a very nice effect because it lets the, paint, the painting breathe and gives more depth. To all the to all the colors. Let's see, I need more. This one over here. Um. So also, um, I don't know, one of the things of, uh, you know, these cameras is I don't think they can take the, you know, the difference of colors, of tones that well. Um, but I guess just uh, for For a little practice, it's, um, it's just good enough. You know, and soon, very fast, it started looking very, very nice. Um, Uh, here a little bit of purple to make this dark or blue. And a bit more this one. Okay, this is looking very nice already. Okay, so it's a few touches, couple of touches of yellow, but okay, not for now. Now we are going to do the green of the leaves. So let me bring up the green. Oops. Let's see, let keep the camera. Okay. Uh, okay, so now we are, let me move this over so you can see more my palette. I'm putting here green, okay, and be putting also more white. So 
we're gonna have more white. We're gonna get some yellow. So we have here, wait, you see? Ah, so yellow, okay. I'm gonna put it uh, over here. Um, for now, those colors. Okay. So now I'm gonna mix the uh, white and the green. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't show you the green. This is a thalo green, which is a cool green. Okay. So you can see here the color. Um, but I a tiny bit of yellow, not much, to make it a little warmer. Okay. And now I'm going to make a cooler green with um, a little bit of green and a little bit of ultramarine blue. Okay, so mix it here. white because we always need a lot of paint remember that how thick um, Bavango painted okay and I'll have these two beautiful colors um, Then, what else we need here? We have that, that, uh, we're gonna need. The dark ones, which I really have, uh, maybe more of the ultramarine blue. I'm gonna put it here. So we can play with those colors. Okay. So let me move this over here. And so we are ready to paint. Okay, let me show you in camera. Okay, so thick and nice. Okay, lightly. So I'm just playing with all my colors in the palette because they are the right ones. So mixing more one or another gives me all these uh, different, very nice tones. Okay. Then again, look uh, how thick and rich I'm applying the paint. OK. 
Okay. Um, so. I need to mix more because you know this is very thick painted. Uh, you need a lot of paint all the time. Now I'm gonna mix more of the green color over there. Maybe a little more yellow. Well, if someone is, um, someone of uh, you who are listening to this knows how to, to work out the sound so I can hear the questions and can let me know, it could be a great help because that's what I've been looking at, and I don't know how to do it. It's supposed to come automatically, but uh, but it's not coming. Uh, so I don't know. I either doing something wrong, or my computer is too old and is missing some kind of app. That's difficult to know. Okay, so remember to keep it thick. It's exactly how Van Gogh did it. Okay. Okay, top of that, this is fun. So that's nice. Okay, it's looking pretty cool. Let me mix more color. Let's see, I'm so seeing the camera. And also, if you have any specific painter uh, that you want to know what kind of technique he or she used um, and you want to learn how how he painted it or she painted it and just write me and and I'll make a webinar about that specific artist okay Okay, nice. I'm having fun. When I paint thick, I always have a lot of fun. Although it's so much work, just mixing the colors is so much, much work. Now, let's 
see. Pin. Yeah, it's interesting because what I see here in my camera, I mean, in my screen, all the colors look alike, which is uh, it's too bad because you are missing all the rich. Let me see if I get it closer. You can see maybe better. It's a, it's a very beautiful richness. Of color, but anyway, I, I'll post a picture of the of the paint, so you can have a more accurate idea of how this looks. Okay, so let's keep going. Um, it's um, not the yellow. Let me clean the brush with the water. Okay, then get some yellow here and here. Maybe I'll get a tiny bit of white. This has a few touches of so it brings the whole thing alive. Okay. Okay, so we keep going. So you see, this is a fast technique, um, very beautiful. Um, which actually Van Gogh mastered it uh, pretty nicely, I must say. Okay, let's do another flower. Anyway, any, oh yeah, please, all the suggestions that you have that, um, you know, to improve this webinar are very welcome. Because again, I know what I'm doing. Um, a lot of times, most of the times, I would say, I forget to explain what I'm doing and why I'm doing it, just because I kind of assume that everybody knows and i'm sure that is not the real life thing <laughs> okay this Okay, have, uh, this flower here. And I hope tomorrow doesn't snow again because this is getting very crazy. Then when you have to come out, it's an impossible task. Okay. So let me mix here 
is this and okay, that's a uh, actually yes you see a few touches of color with this background is always very beautiful so you have definitely have to try that with your encaustics and you will see that some that makes a beautiful color. Actually, all the um, uh, impressionist artists used to do this very much to keep the the background color, the canvas, or do uh, you know a very light wash of raw amber uh, because that makes all the colors play very well. It, even it brings them up because it, instead when you use um, white a white background, you know, it so it overpowers the the rest of, of the colors. Okay. Oh, um, need to send. Some of the line just a little bit more. Oh, a little more water. Oops. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, okay. Uh, stuff. And stem. Okay, need to mix more color. Let's take it from here. Okay, let me show you the mixing of my colors. Come to the screen. Okay. Let's do a little bit of green. Okay, little touch of yellow, not much. Okay. Right. Let's do it. Let me see. We need more white. Yeah, you always need uh, white uh, when you are doing this kind of technique. Uh, so that's why when I'm teaching in in Parsons, Parsons School of Design, um, when I give the material list to the students, I'm always telling them to buy a big tube of white because otherwise you know you uh, you run out of it so 
so fast. And then you don't have to go again to the store. And it's very problematic. Okay, going. And I need more light blue, so we need more white. Again, let me show you the mixture. So I'm going to mix it here with my blue. And like this. This and again, you know, look at how much paint I have in my brush because this what makes this beautiful. And it's also so pleasant to, to paint with all this thickness. Okay, so I think this is all for today. Uh, thank you very much for attending my webinar. And next week, uh, next Wednesday, same time, we will have another one. Okay. And again, please send me all your questions and anything you want to know about techniques or about specific painters or, you know, anything that uh, we can do here at the webinar, okay? So I'm gonna take the this picture and I'm gonna post it uh, as many places as I can, like Facebook, Google Plus, and whatever thing else crosses my mind, okay? Okay, thank you so much everybody for attending my webinar and I'll see you next week, bye-bye.